Why not? Interesting. I, mean, um, I think Honolai Esports are very happy with how the draft has panned out. Uh, I'm not sure what Genji can do here to kind of save it. The ja <laughs> Look, I, a lot of people are anti Jax in the jungle. Could happen, but let's see. Let's hop on the rift for game at number three. You really know they're out to farm. They're out just to scale up when they're both going cold in the situation. Yeah, we got Grasp once again here, by the way, for Chovy. Uh, did play this in game number one. Which is it's kind of expected. The amount of presence Tom has level one and Jinx just yeah. range in Zeri. So they're able to put Pays a little bit behind. Uh, top lane, Keen actually kind of toasting Doran so far. You know, the early damage of Rumble not to be disrespected. But level three is hit. Doing things. <laughs> Wait, no, he's full health. He's just full health. <laughs> oh, he must have popped his health potion in his inventory. That, that's, yeah. yeah. Mm. It, it fills your whole health bar, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that a pretty cute play there? Uh, Peanut's just going for double scuttle. He's not actually trying to do anything to Chovy here. He's giving him a grasp stack, you know, a little, little slide yeah, by. Right. Um, yeah, you really need that bin. You need it. I and even early on, I think even when you do get the Leandries, it's not really going to matter because I think the sustain get, is too high. I think you kind of need like Leandries Oblivion Orb. Um, he's going for the kill. Flash on in, and Kane is in a lot of trouble. He is going to flash away, and now it's Dorian in a lot of trouble as the knockup does not come in, and Kane picks up first blood. Peanut is here. Should have this. Yeah, I mean, there's no flash, so just flash on in, and there it is. Three hits. Yeah. And down he does go. Total gold ends up going in favor of. Meanwhile, very nice hook does come in onto Viper. Decent I amount feel like of hook. Both, both the hook and the W from Pays. Um, some of that fury generation on minions and stuff. Yep. I'm uh, sure Keen is thinking about that right now. He's like, oh god. I wish it were 14-7. Yeah. Fortunately, Valdez, it is 14-6 for the entirety of playoffs. Unlucky. Unlucky for them. Let's go for that. Um, Viper is fine. Doran is taking everything, and this time with the Ignite is actually struggling and gets flashed on. Holds in, and oh! now they turn it around. You've got to be kidding me. Peanut here again, top of the morning with this Pangu. Yeah, we can even see Peanut's pretty close by, so they wanted to set up for this. But he's just kind of hanging around, waiting <laughs> for the commit. Yeah. He really waits a long time. He's like, no, he needs to be right under the tower. Wow, she got that. Wow. Oh, man. That was sick, he says. <laughs> uh, I couldn't get him. It looks he so says. Bad. I would be. I would be in that It is continuing to happen. I suppose if the Rek'Sai just stands in front of the Rumble, yeah, I feel like Doran's the like, full combo. Doran's like, I can totally out heal your damage. And then, like, the end of a flame spitter, he's like, uh, I'm good. I'm fine. It's like kind of okay. Uh, this dragon. Looks to be going the way. Canyon gonna hop over the wall though, and it does go to Canyon. Just slaps that one down with this W, but now this fight going heavily the way of Humble and Esports Priest is barely gonna get away, but lands will go down first. The light's still on the chase here. Gets the slow on a Canyon, but that's a Jax. As the flash on in with the charm is huge from the side of Zekka. That's a second kill as Doran even gonna zone Toby away from the fight. I love how this composition plays. It's so fun seeing the Viari. Yeah, I mean, it was way too powerful for <laughs> the gold that it was, uh, that it cost. As Slow comes down with the zap, and Peanut, he's so tanky, he is going to go down, but the Devourer comes through with Delight. He's in a really rough spot himself. Peanut now trying to flash away. He is going to barely get away thanks to Delight as... Well, the lightning. Yeah. Uh, and we kind of saw it again here. A lot of focus there went on to the Nautilus, and it was clear Hunt Life Esports thought it'd just be a free kill. Chovy does not have vision of this, and he's oh. going to get flashed on. No flash here for Chovy himself. Just waiting for that cooldown to see if he can get away, and just the the edge of that one is going to hit away the Zekka, but it's not going to be enough, as Doran will follow up with his own ult, and that will be Chovy going down. Yeah. We'll have two items for the Jinx as well. Dragon's coming uh, up now. Oh, whoa. Chovy TP right in front of that one, but at least Cannon is there. The Equalizer is huge value. Forces out the Devourer already, and now Delight's in a little bit of a struggle, but the Lehen's also getting super low, ticking away, and Doran follows over the top as Canyon trying to get away, and Chovy looking for the angle, but he gets by ultimate, and immediately they do take out the Jinx, though, as the Zonyas comes out, and 
Toby. He wants to carry this fight all by himself. And it looks like he might just be able to create the space for Paige on the chase. As the flash of the wall is not going to catch the wreck side, but still a nice fight here for Gen G. I cannot imagine. No devour. Is what he said. And let's see. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Ult in five yeah, seconds. Ba, 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 ba. Hit the front line. Take it, take it, take it. No flash, no flash. I have flash. Oh, Wait, that didn't land? Oh, a play to be made here, maybe, as uh, we're going deep into that back line. Once again, the four man into four man knockup. You've got to be kidding me. They're going to take out one of them, actually, two, as now the front line is being burned here. by Keen picks up two kills by himself, but the back line was accessed the entire time by Doran and Delight, and Viper was untouched the entire fight. Just such a beautiful engage. I feel like Honor Life Esports playing as a unit, the engages they find. In theory, they could go towards the Baron, but do you really want to be in the Baron pit against this four man of Honor Life Esports? I feel like losing the light loses a safety net, but you still have so much power in these fights. Look at the amount of pings that are going down here from the side of Honor Life Esports. They want to fight this. And I mean, you still have nice pick potential. You take someone out immediately. Maybe you get it going. Also, a potential for the seal as Equalizer doesn't do much. They get in the back line. It does go the way of Cannon and paces over the wall. They go super deep for this one as Toby goes deep himself, but Viper gets away. Zek over the wall with the flash and will pick up a second kill. Viper on the chase here, looking for a bit more, but Pays and Canyon get away with the Baron buff. Uh, and maybe this is where Genji can get a big resurgence. They got a lot of gold from the previous passages of play. Oh, Delight. Oh, Delight. He's going to flash away. The Equalizer doesn't do much, but now Toby gets the Devour. Does Delight save him for a little bit, but the dive is still there. Everybody on the side of Genji getting under that turret. As now the turn trying to come out here, but there's not a lot of damage left on the side of Humble Life Esports, and Pays is running rampant in that back line. Zekka is barely going to get over the wall with his halt getting back, but Genji make a nice play here in mid. Yep. Uh, well, okay, they're going to pull it out. And then they are going to rush it down. And Peanut still could try to send it, but I think that's pretty risky. And they're just going to let it go. Genji pick up so point on the Mountain Soul. And now they're actually in a gold lead, so so much taken away. I feel like Genji have kind of brought this game back from such a rough position. Pretty much handling these fights. Yeah, and I mean, you have the enemy team carries going tanky, and they have double mountain. It feels really bad. Uh, unless oh. Toby just stands on choppers, but the turnaround is coming in, and now Doran is in a lot of trouble. He's going to be burned down as nobody on the side of Homelay Esports could follow up on that one. Not able to buy enough time with the ult, not able to get off in the CC as uh, <laughs> Well, at least he has the Banshees, I guess. And now, just going to ult into the Nautilus. And Toby finds an angle, only hits the top catch. And he's so low. A chance here for Amelie Esports, but it is Delight to go down first. The flash on in. Viper doesn't have any more summoners. He's going to go down. And the chase of this comp from Genji is enough to pull them ahead. They're going to have to try and stop the game from ending here and now. Zeka, I think he needs this ult to actually. Oh, he's going to get the smite down. Will Pino to now the turn. And then. Four man knockup comes in, gives them a chance to pull this game back. You've got to be kidding me once again. Another charm is going to come in and hit base, and they clean them up entirely in the base. Just when you think the game is ending, they manage to find their way back in. And they execute it. As here we go, Zeka on in. Very nice hook here from the hands into the wall as Doran goes in. And the rocket hits the front line, and it just looks like Doran is unkillable, but he eventually goes down. And now Toby is in the back line. A very awkward devour as Viper. He gets a reset, but he has no summoners, and he doesn't have the damage. But now a front line for Zeka. A chance, but the divide comes in, and Toby stands tall alongside a pace. They do the damage in the pit, and that might just be enough as they take down the Mountain Soul. Oh, but Zeka's actually keeping in to clear the wave. He's trying to prevent an end here. Mountain Soul goes over Gen G, absolute winners of that fight, of that passage of play. But they won't be able to end the game now. And yes, I mean, there's still a fed Jinx, but uh, Toby's insane right now. He's very fed himself, and Pace is also Zeri. They're so bulky. I mean, even Zeri has such high base stats. But like, Zeri is the squishiest target on this Gen G roster. And Hollow Knight Esports composition relies on getting resets. Hard to get any when they're so bulky. All right, gonna go for Lahens. Forces the flash. Spirit Rush utilized. And a rocket to the face. That was nearly another one. This feels so tense. TP's available for Zeka. He wants to recall. I think Honor Life Esports benefit from stalling this out, getting some poke in, 
and getting Ari's cooldown back available. It's not going to take long. They're actually moving towards the top lane tower here while Zekka covers mid and Doran just kind of plays intro. They can't really just going top. past him. Yeah, they're going for the top lane tower. Uh, they're zoned away. Gen G, I think they might lose their inhibitor here. The thing is, this seems good, but Elder's up in 40 seconds. It's like you're forcing Gen G back. Well, yeah, you're going to force them back. You're going to force a fight, I would imagine. I mean, they could even look at the Nexus turrets, but now Bax coming in. Now a lot of esports don't want to overstep. Toby looking for an angle now. Oh, look at the hens. Yeah, he's thinking about it, surely. As is Chovy, Delight looking pretty, looking pretty tasty right now. Look at him trying to just hobble his way out of here, and the Equalizer going to slow him down even more. Delight, though, is on the top catch as flash forward here from Keen, trying to just get that damage in. And now Doran, he gets a knockout, but there's no follow-up here. Ults in, flashes away, and now a chance here for Chovy gets in, gets a sweep, doesn't hit much, and now he has to go into his own. Yes. And now Peanut over the wall. He's not going to get over the wall. Not gonna get over the wall. Maybe a, a good thing, actually. <laughs> See? Yeah, long wall there. You can tell they want to yeah. fight, but like Baron's up, Elder's up. You have to make something happen. A charm and a chance, and Canyon gets in, hits the stun up to everybody, and that's gonna be the end of the jinx, and maybe just the end of the game, as now four kills come in for the Zeri. And a chance maybe to push the top wave as Pays will go up here. Such a scrappy game. You know, I was ready to call it in the mid game. It felt like Hunter Life Esports had firm control, but this one, not only is it a huge win for Gen G, but such a tilter for Hunter Life Esports. They must have felt that game was completely in control. And then suddenly, everyone in Gen G starts building tank, and they're all just unkillable. Get him out in Seoul, build some tank items, and win some team fights as a death ball. They do exactly that. Gen G gonna take a 42 and a half minute game here as game three in the series and take the lead two to one. They just could not cut through this bolt. Look at the gold difference the craft too. Game. Yeah, they just couldn't eventually. And um, the Jinx couldn't really do it alone in the late game. I mean, Zekka going for a tankier build, a safer build. He got many different picks.